Okay. So what's up, y'all? I am walking to Condado. It is raining. It's not pouring raining too much right now. But it's cool, you know what I'm saying? It's cool. You gotta watch out for like the cars that's going by that like zoom real fast through the puddles and shit like that. When it when it's not raining, because you know you still got the puddles or whatever, but it's pretty cool. It's just like teaching you new ways to be able to navigate, you know what I'm saying? Navigate your travel in a new way, you know. I think previously I didn't care as much about like cars driving past and the puddles and shit like that because a lot of times I would travel without my umbrella so it was like I was wet already you know what I'm saying but um you know right now I got my umbrella you know what I'm saying I'm headed to a certain destination where I don't nest lights eh! you know, see? <laughs> I'm heading to a certain destination right now where I don't necessarily want my clothes to be wet you know what I'm saying once I get there too much my shoes is already soaked but it's cool. I'm grateful to have shoes. I'm grateful to have socks. I'm grateful to have an outfit that I can wear, you know what I'm saying, for me to get to my destination. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about Mercury Day. Mercury, Wednesday, Miracle, Mercurio. So, okay. So Mercury Day is about thinking and communicating and analyzing, right? It's what makes you think, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Zion Ship album. Because in that song, make you think. Make you think, right? He like, um, not from this planet. I take random taking trips. Like, eh, I fly random taking trips. He said, um, not from this planet. I fly random taking trips. And that's like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not from this planet. I fly random. It's where I'm headed towards now is like close to the airport so there's gonna be like a lot more planes and shit like that on my pass so it's easy to navigate these puddles when it's like something over here that I can like walk towards so that you know I'm I'm I'm, I'm farther away but um sometimes when there's a gate here it can be like hard to do but I'm not gonna focus on that because that don't really matter it's just fucking puzzles and you know what I'm saying water you know what I'm saying? Water. Don't be too fixated on my emotions or trying to control how people should drive or something. Like, I'm not fault. Anyway, so Mercury Day. Mercury Day. Mercury Day. Mercury Day is thinking, communicating, and analyzing, you know, what makes you think. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I just want to talk about some different synchronicities. So, my natal Mercury is in the third house. And when it comes to the third house, or if you just hear houses in general, if you're new to astrology or if you're new to my channel and stuff, I might be talking about a broad, a broad, uh, like I'll be talking about a lot of different things basically. And so I can cover many different topics. So when I say houses, right, if you're not familiar with houses, if you're not familiar with astrology, so. The house's trucks are especially important to watch out for when it comes to puddles. I'm not saying I'm focusing on that, but I am offering some level of like teaching and education if you are a person outside walking, you know what I'm saying? Trying to navigate these puddles and shit. But, um, <laughs> okay, so basically, like when it comes to your houses, right? I'm cute. But when it comes to your houses, right? Your houses is your area of life and your mercury with the sign that your mercury is in is how you um like how you play that out so the house is like what you're thinking about like what you always thinking about right so for me my third house my mercury is in my third house so the third house is about familiar places faces and things people familiar people places and things familiar neighborhoods your surrounding neighborhoods, people, places, and things that's in arm reach to you, things that are close by, you know. Just It's just really about, like, familiarity, basically. Whether it's a physical representation of that or not. It just, it's just about, like, the energy of, like, familiarity or whatever. So, um, Mercury loves to be in the third house because... 
the third house is related to you know what's familiar to you and when you put third house and mercury together that's like communicating about the things that you're familiar with so it's like let's say if you had a particular interview or something like that right and you went to your interview on mercury day and you have mercury in the third house it's like you already knowing before you even get there that you got the job you know what i'm saying just because of your ability to be able to um communicate about the things that you're familiar with right so the job that i am traveling to right now because i have an interview today right and i'm already knowing i got the job right but these are some ways that i was able to obtain this job just based off of my alignments and the way that i'm set up so okay so mercury in the third house so this job the the colors the colors behind like the brand and logo of this particular job like the theme like the logo you know colors and shit is um orange and blue right orange and blue so orange is the color orange is created when yellow starts to move right and yellow represents en enlightenment and, and happiness right because when you're enlightened about something you're happy about it you know you're, like you're happy so just like when you see in the sunrise you know you see the sky kind of like you know it's, it first comes out it's like yellow and then throughout the day like as the hours change as the hours move you know what i'm saying from like 5 a.m 6 a.m 7 a.m 8 a.m 9 a.m whatever the sky starts to change color a lot of time it's orange so it goes from yellow yellow to orange because the happiness and then the enlightenment the information of a new day of like you know it went from dark to information of a new day right so you're happy about the things that you're enlightened about and light enlightened about and the information that you're receiving right so once that happens you you start to move or whatever so when you enlightened and happy about something you might start to you know physically dance and physically move around you know what i'm saying so it's like that orange or you might travel to a particular you know destination or something like you might be happy that you found out about something and now you want to go out to eat or something to celebrate that in order for you to go out to eat you have to travel to that location that kind of represents like orange in a way it's not you know it's just an example right so there's that right so as i said i'm saying this because the organization that i'm going to to have this interview at right the colors that is backed and supported by is orange so the main colors is orange and the main colors is blue so i broke down what orange represents enlightenment and being happy and once you enlightened and happy about something you start to move travel maybe you want to tell other people about it communicate about it and things like that so when blue adds to that so some big puddles in front of me but the cars are, are driving through the middle so that's good okay so blue is connected to connection blue is connection blue is communication blue is um well i like to look at blue and reference to like rain and like washing things away and like a spiritual baptism and stuff like that and you know in the morning before you leave the house and stuff like that you have your spiritual baptism so it's like you're washing away the previous thoughts and feelings and things that you was experiencing before you know you um you know before you got in the shower you're able to wash it all away and just you know start a new day every day is a new day it's actually not raining right now yay <laughs> i still got my umbrella up because like the rain starts to change and stuff excuse me y'all flipping and shit <laughs> um that's why i said i got my umbrella up too because even though it's not raining this damn roof that i'm under is still leaking so you know you just see from a mile away and be prepared you know what i'm saying but um but yeah so when blue and orange come together not as like creating a new color but when because it's just like the emphasis of as far as the logo is mainly orange and it has some blue in it you know what i'm saying i'm gonna probably stop at this burger king right here that i'm about to pass because i gotta use the bathroom and i'm gonna stop this video and y'all know i don't be editing and shit so this gonna be like my part one but i'm gonna you know break down the orange and the blue of the color of the logo of this particular business before I um before I use the bathroom but yeah so so um yeah so 
orange like i said enlightenment you happy about what you enlightened about you start to move around just like you you know you might learn how to cook something new and you know you eat it and then you like happy about it like oh shit this good and when you eat some good food you know you're dancing and shit so it, it could represent that but and then blue comes together with that so basically this organization that i'm going to where you know i got my job and everything already um woo. I got my job and everything already. It's um, it's a location where people go when they're happy. It's a location that people go to when when they are um, when they're happy, when they're excited, when they're going to celebrate, when they are. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of vibrations that deal with happiness. You know what I'm saying? Like you will come to this particular location of now where I now work because you're happy, because you're celebrating, because. You know, you want to and, and it's also backed and supported by Mercury just in general, because Mercury, you know, is like thinking and communicating and stuff like that. And it's, it's also your first reflex. Like if you was to turn your head to a particular look, if I was to turn my body this way, you know, that's Mercury. That's, you know, me communicating, you know, what I'm saying or whatever. So when you have that first reflex, you know, that first reflex, let's say like somebody you know, was tapping you on your shoulder or somebody from behind was trying to interact with you or whatever, your immediate, your reflex response, regardless of if you meant to or not, is what Mercury represents, right? So when you are at a um, at a particular location that's, that's heavily influenced by Mercury, it could be games, video games and stuff like that. So, you know, that's a lot of the energy that's going on of where, you know, I'm about to work. So it's like when you are playing a game, right? It's like your initial, like, you, you're not, I mean... Some people do think a lot or whatever, but basically when it comes to video games, like you, you thinking it's your initial, it's about your reflexes, you know what I'm saying? And it could also be about the things that you learned before you picked up the game and stuff like that. I'm seeing the game more so like, you know, the things I researched and learned about the game, the behind the scenes realm of these particular games, because, um, like some of the games is like Sonic and stuff like that. And, you know, um, Sonic is, is like flash and like Hermes, that vibration of like, you know, going really fast when you, when you thinking and you mer and you Mercury and shit like that, you thinking fast, you running fast, you moving fast. And it's also representation of me throughout my day of like how I'll be walking fast, getting to a particular location. I'll be, you know what I'm saying? Regardless of the rain, regardless of whatever's going on, I'm just, you know, just like I'm in a video game, you know what I'm saying? So just like I'm getting through my obstacles when it comes to the puddles and I'm getting through those obstacles when it comes to the cars and things, you know, and stuff like that. And, and, and me having to take a break and, and use the bathroom and stuff like that. And I'm glad that um, it does take like a pretty long time to get to this um, particular location, but I'm glad that I left so early that I am able to stop and have some free time to use the bathroom, not to, you know, chill and, and too much like that, but yeah, so. So yeah, that's the vibration as far as the colors of this organization, orange and blue. So enlightenment, happy about the enlightenment, moving. It's a place where you go to celebrate and you're able to communicate about that through the particular games and, um, you know, communicating with the other people that you might be happy to go there with and celebrating with. So, you know, it could be a birthday. It could be, um, you know, you just going because it's a Friday or something. It's your day off. Like it's the type of place where you would go where it's like that or whatever. So yeah, I'm about to use the bathroom and I'm going to start part two.